Hi, my name is Laudan Mohamed Zadeh. I'm one of the critical care specialists here at Dove Lewis. And today I want to briefly chat about um, some signs of looking for urinary obstruction in cats. Um, so urinary obstructions, um, unfortunately, can be pretty common. Um, we tend to see it in younger to middle age male indoor, uh, male neutered indoor cats. It can happen in females, but because of the anatomy of the male cats, urinary system, they do tend to get blocked more often than female cats. So usually what you might see at home um, is a cat that is frequenting the litter box. So going in and out of the litter box, let's say a few times every hour, they might uh, be aggressively grooming their uh, urogenital system. So aggressively um, licking or maybe even chewing at their penile area and their hind area because it can be very irritating um, for them to have any sort of inflammation in that area. But just because they're going in and out of the litter box doesn't mean that they're obstructed. So a true obstruction comes when there is no urine flow out of the bladder. Um, and after a while, the bladder gets very big and very painful, and it can actually cause a variety of symptoms in cats. Um, early on, it would just be vocalizing, but within 12 to 24 hours of a complete obstruction, it could potentially be life-threatening in a cat, leaving them laying on their side, vocalizing, not wanting to eat and drink, and sometimes vomiting. Um, so it's really important to start to recognize the signs of a urinary obstruction early. And it may just be them going in and out of their litter box, but you might actually have to see whether they're passing urine at all. So things I would recommend, maybe limiting the cat's movement to just one room with one litter box, taking the top off of that litter box so you can actually see what the cat is passing. And sometimes cats might frequently urinate and pass small amounts like dime or quarter size urine pools, which might be fine and isn't necessarily an obstruction. What would be an obstruction is if they are doing that, frequenting the litter box or posturing to pee outside of the litter box, but nothing is coming out, not one drop of urine. And that is an immediate indication for them to be evaluated by a veterinarian. So here we have a cat patient uh, here in the hospital who's not here for urinary problems, um, but I wanted to show you how to feel for the urinary bladder of your cat at home if you feel comfortable doing this. Now, keeping in mind that cats that are fully blocked, their bladder could potentially be the size of a large tangerine um, or a, a small sort of baseball, and it is very firm and extremely painful. So I would caution if you feel like you are uncomfortable trying, if you think your cat might try to bite you, then please don't try this at home. Uh, but this is something that we do here in the veterinary setting to see if the cat truly has a urinary blockage. So the bladder in a cat is gonna be located sort of in the last half of their body, sort of from the middle of the spine to their tail, under in their abdomen. And what you're feeling for is I kind of make my fingers into a U shape like this with my palm on one side and my thumb on the other side. And I kind of gently kind of move back and forth with securing my right hand on their spine and my left hand underneath. And I'm sort of moving it back and forth, feeling for a taut, firm, round object, and it will slip through your fingers if that is the case. They may let out a yowl. They may try to posture to urinate when you do that. And if so, then that is probably a, a urinary obstruction in the cat. Now, if you feel that it's like sort of walnut-sized um, or golf ball-sized, it could potentially be obstructed, but that's not a very large bladder for a cat. Um, the ones that are sort of more of a slam dunk are quite seriously this, about this big. And it will be extremely firm, not squeezable at all, and will elicit quite a bit of discomfort in the patient. So again, if you don't feel comfortable doing this, I would not advise doing it at home, but if you wanna give it a try, um, you certainly can. If it's in the early stages um, and they're comfortable and it's nice and soft, then they're probably not obstructed. But uh, obviously, if you're in doubt, please come in and we can evaluate your cat.